All right, team, let's take a look at this problem here. Now we're gonna use our knowledge of constant blends and constant diagraphs to analyze a student's uh, response. It has a, a, a printed word and then the student is decoding it. And so we're seeing how they decode it. And there are gonna be some mis, uh, mistakes in the student's response. So it's our job to try to figure out, you know, where, oops, let me go back to the picture, where the student went wrong. All right, so in, in this one right here, I just briefly, I want you to remember what we said about consonant uh, blends and constant diagraphs. A constant blend has two consonants that make two sounds. And a constant blend has at least two consonants that make two sounds. And then uh, a constant diagraph has two consonants that make only one sound. So we have like the blah and blast, the tra and train, the st and star. Those are there's the two constants that have two separate sounds. And then with a constant diagraph, these are things like ch in, in champ or sh like ship or th in the. These are two constants that make one sound. So just make sure you know the difference between these two. And remember, when you're writing your essays, this could be enough to write a wonderful essay identifying a phonics pattern that the student is struggling in. You could point out that they're having difficulty with constant blends and, 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 and constant diagraphs, and that would be an amazing essay. And I'm, I'm talking to the reading specialists here that are listening to this. Trust me, those two things, even though they may appear basic, that would, write, that would be an amazing essay. So, so let's kind of see how that could work. If we can analyze the student's work, the word is shut. They say shut. Good job. What does that shut have in it? Well, it has a diagraph, right? It looks like they did they did a pretty good job in the diagraph. So, so good job on getting that diagraph. We could kind of like give a little smiley face there. How about flame? They say fame. Well, wait a second. There's uh it should have been flame, and they say fame. Okay, so there's a little frowny town there, and, and that's a blend, right? Specifically, specifically with the, uh, the the FL. All right now, right now, those are just the first two. Let, let's keep going. The student uh, has the word mask, and they say Mac. Let's, oops, something's going on. Mask is another uh, blend, and they say Mac, so they get the wrong one. Another another error with a blend with the SK. How about bath? They say bath. They got it right. Well, but that's a that's a diagraph, right? So they got another diagraph right. Remember, so look, this is all good practice. I'm doing it with you. And I hope you 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 can pause the video if you don't want to me, see me do this. But anytime you see things like this, you want to see if you can find patterns. So right now, just looking at this real quick, and I'll, I'll do this last one. It was twig, and they say tig. That's a that's another blend. We see a pattern with the blends, right? That they're having difficulty with these blends. And we could give it, we would wanna, if we were writing an essay, we would say the student has difficulty with constant blends. A constant blend is when we have two or more constants that make two, uh, uh, two, more, two or more sounds. So in this case right here, it's two constants that make two sounds. And then we'd wanna give some examples. For example, the FL in flame, the SK in mask, the TW in twig, that would be um, identifying an error in the student's work and, and citing examples. So looks like there's an issue with blends. Now let's read the question. It says, this assessment suggests that students would most likely benefit from targeted instruction in how to what? In how to, well, we've already identified the issues of blends. So let's just cross out the ones that it's not. It's not high frequency sight words. Remember, those are words that we want students to rapidly recognize. Usually when it says high frequency sight words, you know, if it was referencing high frequency irregular sight words, it'd be words like this right here. Um, the, of, some, one, what. These are considered high frequency sight words or high frequency irregular sight words. Um, so no, this isn't involving those types of words. Um, sounding out words that contain constant diagraphs. No, they did just fine with constant diagraphs. Like they got the SH in shut and the uh, TH in bath. So, so that's not the issue here. They, they were able to get these diagraphs that were in those words. Remember, 
A diagraph is two, two constants that make one sound. Constant diagraph is two constants that make one sound. Uh, recognizing words that follow the uh, CVCC pattern. Let's see here. Uh, well, only a few of them do, right? Like shut. No, not even shut. Um, uh, only the word mask and bath do, right? So I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really say that's the issue, right? They're only able to get that on uh, this word here and this word here have that pattern, and uh, and they actually uh, got one of them right and one of them wrong. So can't really say much about that. Can't say they recognize that, a hundred percent. How about C, which is our answer? Decode words containing constant blends. All right, that's the one. Now look, I'm hoping that you paused the video, read it yourself, and you heard from the commentary because I didn't really give you time to do that. I'm sorry. It was just such a fun question. It's not hard, right? But it's got a lot in it. It's got a mini assessment. The mini assessment, you know, um, you know, you have to go through six words. You have to analyze the good. You got to analyze the errors and misconceptions. This is this is like an open response. I mean, from this mini assessment, we've identified one strength and one area of need involving phonics. And uh, this could be enough to write a great essay where you identify a strength in phonics and you identify an area of need in phonics and you and you cite examples of both. Uh, so, so this is, this is a good, good one. It's, it gets a lot of practice. All right. Um, make sure that you read this, uh, once to yourself. So you, you understand why it's C and just review some of that wonderful vocabulary that's here. Um, this is a good test. Uh, it doesn't have a, a, a tremendous amount of questions, but the ones that, that it does have, it has a nice explanation. So if you want to check out a test where they give that rationale, check out the, uh, 222. And uh, it's a nice one. The answer here is C. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep building in this area of phonics, okay? Uh -huh.